All right, guys, Poco X3 versus the Redmi Note 10 Pro. I got a lot of people sort of confused about which one to get because they're the same price. Uh, but these phones actually have very key differences, which we're going to talk about. Uh, so it really comes down to what type of you know person you are. Uh, so let's go ahead and break it down. They're both actually around the same price, around that $300 price point. They're both you know mid-rangers. Uh, so starting off with the hardware, I'm going to give it to the Redmi Note 10 Pro right off the bat. Um, it has a glass bag and I think the design just looks much better than the Pocos. Uh, not to say that this is bad, but this is all plastic and it gets smudged up uh, really quickly as well. And the 10 Pro just has a more sort of uh, more expensive and classier look. It's got this glass bag that uh, matte so you don't see fingerprints and it just looks really nice. You can rock this phone without a case and you don't have to keep wiping it down. I like the camera module setup a little bit better than on the Poco. Uh, not to say that the Poco is ugly. It's one of those phones where it's 50-50. You're either going to think it's ugly or it's a nice phone. Um, to me, I think it looks... Uh, <laughs> I, I kind of think it looks ugly. I think it looks a little ugly uh, and it's mostly because of the camera module. I think the front of the phone looks fine but it's one of those phones where, like I said, you're either going to think it's nice or uh, you know, you don't. But yeah, compared to the Note 10 Pro, I think I, I think this, the Note 10 Pro just looks much better here. As far as the weight, they both actually feel around the same weight as well. Uh, we do have our power buttons with the physical fingerprint scanner uh, inside, so that is nice. And we do have volume rockers as well. We have stereo speakers on both, headphone jack down on the Poco, headphone jack up top on the Redmi. And then that's pretty much it. Uh, just talking about you know getting into the phone as far as speed wise, um, they both do this have the same exactly. The button is actually a little bit different. So you see how the button is more flushed in on the Poco, so it's like more in. I prefer this, like it being actually like flushed in there. This one kind of is flushed, like it's out. So to me, it's not as re like it's it's responsive. But to me, like you see, like you actually have to like press this one, and that's the thing. Yeah, you have to pr press this one. This one you can actually just put your finger on. You see? You see the difference? I have to actually like, you know, hit the button. So that is one of the things that I noticed uh, right off of the bat. Both phones are actually IP53 dust and splash proof. I would not submerge these phones in waters. Basically what that means is that it can survive light splashes and it can survive being in the rain. I would not submerge these phones in water at all. So don't even don't even try it unless you want, you know, to break your phone. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about the displays on both of these guys. Now this is very important. So on the Poco X3 Pro, you have an IPS display. It's 120 hertz, 6.67 inches, 1080p, 395 for the PPI Gorilla Glass 6. Um, on the Note 10 Pro, you have an AMOLED display, 120 hertz HDR10, 6.67 inches, 1080p, 395 for the PPI Gorilla Glass 5. So basically, the display is much better on uh, the Note 10 Pro, the AMOLED versus the IPS display. They're both actually 120 hertz, so they're both extremely smooth uh, when you're scrolling and uh, playing games that are compatible with 120 hertz. But this AMOLED display on the Note 10 Pro uh, just looks better uh, to me. It's actually brighter as well, gives off more vibrant colors. It's the, definitely the better display. I think anybody that is really into uh, videos and you know just videos and watching content on their phone, the Note 10 Pro is going to be the better uh, display here for sure. Um, but yeah, the IPS display does look fine on here. It's not a bad display. Uh, but if you're more media focused on your phone, you're going with the Note 10 Pro. Also, one thing I noticed too is that um, the punch hole seems to be slightly smaller on the um, Note 10 Pro. Let me turn off the uh, dark mode so I can make sure. It looks smaller to me, honestly. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a little bit smaller too. Alright, so this is a big uh, factor right here as well. Processing power. So. On the Poco X3, you have Android 11, Neo i12, Snapdragon 860, Adreno 640, micro SD card support, and you also have 6 gigs of RAM. On the Note 10 Pro, the same setup, Android 11, Neo i12, but you have the Snapdragon 732G and the Adreno 618. 
uh, micro SD support, 128 gigs of internal storage, and 6 gigs of RAM. So basically, if you are a gamer, you're going with the Poco X3 Pro here, and I'll show you why uh, in a second. Now, if we just launch some applications and stuff like that, you'll really notice the speed difference when you uh, launch games and stuff like that. So again, the Poco is going to be the phone that you buy if you're a gamer. So uh, this phone blows the Note 10 Pro out of the water when it comes to gaming performance. And it is a bit snappier when opening applications as well. And overall, I just you just notice less hiccups when you are running a ton of applications. So that's uh, what I really want to stress here. So if you see yourself as more of a power user, uh, then you're definitely looking at uh, the Poco. If not, and you see yourself more as a media uh, user, then you're looking more at the Redmi here. You see, they're both pretty much on par, but the Poco is going to be slightly uh, faster when opening applications. Um, what else do we have? Temper Run. And when we get to gaming, uh, that is where you'll see uh, the big difference there. So, as you can see, boom. So we pretty much get pretty much get the point here. Uh, but if we open up PUBG here, then we'll see a big diff. All right, guys. If you look at the graphic settings, and Poco is at the bottom here. You see on the Poco. Look, I can go to HDR, my frame rates are on extreme. I can even go up to Ultra HD, it says download or switch and lobby. And then on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, look, we're stuck on HD, we're stuck on high frame rates. So the better powerful phone, if you're a gamer, you're going with the Poco hands down. So I keep stressing that because that's one of the biggest differences here is processing speed. That's the biggest difference between these two phones. Now let's check out the speaker quality I'm pretty sure the Poco was a louder phone if you guys saw that speed test we did with the A52. Yeah, the Pogo X3 Pro to me has amazing sounding speakers, guys. Uh, so this is definitely has the better speaker. It's just way more punchier, and it is a uh, slightly louder. But these these have great speakers. Both of them have great speakers. Uh, they both are not distorting at the max volume, uh, so it's awesome on uh, both parts. But the Poco definitely takes it there in terms of speaker quality. Now I want to talk about some of the other specs. Like I said, they have a 3.5 millimeter jack on here. NFC is on board as well as the infrared port. So if you want to use both of these phones as like a little remote controller to control your TV, uh, that is on there too. Now, if you're a camera person, you're going with the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Now, there are two variants of the Note 10 Pro. There are the 108 megapixel, which is going to give you much more detail. And then there's a 64 megapixel one that I have. The 64 megapixel one is closer in quality with the Poco X3 Pro. Um, so, I got it. For me, I don't take pictures like that, so I, I didn't feel like spending the extra money. Um, but... If you want the better camera, it's going to be the uh, Note 10 Pro for sure. It's got that 108 megapixel, 8 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel macro, 2 megapixel depth, 4K video, 16 megapixel selfie shoot, that shoots in 1080p. And on the Poco X3, you have a 48 megapixel standard, 8 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel macro and depth sensor, 4K video with a 20 megapixel selfie. Basically, like I said, the uh, the Note 10 Pro is going to be the better camera to me. Uh, even the 64 megapixel to me was more consistent in terms of quality, um, at least to me. But they both take really great photos, really nice uh, selfie cameras on both of these phones actually. So I think for mid-rangers, you'll be happy with either one. Um, but if you do want the better overall camera, I think the Note 10 Pro is the way to go. And definitely get that 108 megapixels if that's a focus for you. Alright, so battery life, uh, I'm going to keep it real with y'all, battery life is pretty much the same on both of these phones. I really couldn't tell a difference because they pretty much have the same size battery and fast charging. So, 5,160 milliamp battery on the Poco X3 
and then you have 33 watt fast charging and then on the Note 10 Pro it's a 5020 milliamp battery with 33 watt fast charging basically the same here and I really didn't notice a difference between battery life these both are full days of use phones they both have massive battery life so you're not going to see much of a difference there honestly I was getting around the same uh, screen on time and they both charge uh, fast as well no wireless charging on either of these guys as well just to point that out there uh, so that is pretty much it guys so uh, two very awesome phones uh, so what do you guys think which one are you guys going with be sure to let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one